Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about the anatomy of Acheiranthus stream which belongs to Amaranthaceae family. So the transverse section of Acheiranthus stream is being shown to you above. So look at the figure properly. Just check the leveling and I'm going to discuss briefly about the tissues present in it. So you can see that the transfer section is wavy in outline with ridges and furrows and reveals the following tissues from outside. First one is the epidermis. You can see it is single layered, consists of many tubular cells and covered externally by thick cuticle. From some cells arise multicellular hairs as well. You can see there, multicellular hairs are arising from the epidermis. And second one is the cortex. It is well differentiated into cholenchyma, chlorenchyma, parenchyma. Let me tell you that the difference between cholenchyma and chlorenchyma. Just, you can feel that Cholenchyma and chlorenchyma feels a little similar in listening, but the main difference in cholenchyma and chlorenchyma is the presence of chloroplast. Chlorenchyma contains chloroplast, but cholenchyma does not contain chloroplast. Its cells or tissues cells are arranged without intercellular space because it has deposition of cellulose and pectin. Parenchyma, you may know that it is thin, transparent, and the cholenchyma is present only below the ridges. You can see that it is below the ridges in the figure as well. It is clearly mentioned there, and its breadth and depth varies below different ridges. Chlorenchyma is present side of cholenchyma. Chlorenchyma is present side of cholenchyma. And parenchymatous cortex is located below the cholenchyma and chlorenchyma. I hope you are getting. Just see in the figure properly. It is 2 to 3 layers deep and cells contain intercellular species. Now the third one is endodermis. Endodermis is the innermost layer of cortex or it is found below the cortex. You can write anything you want. Consisting of elongated cells which lack Casparian thickening. I hope you have listened that in endodermis it is a barrel shaped cell in Casparian thickenings are present. It is all uh, mentioned in case of monocot dicot steam. But here it lacks Casparian thickening in the old steam endodermis is even not clear so you can write a point there inside the endodermis that in old steam endodermis is not clear in case of achiranthus fourth one is the pericycle pericycle is represented by the groups of sclerenchymatous cells as the sclerenchymatous cells have already been seen in the pericycle you also can add that it helps in mechanical support as it is a dead cell which is situated just outside the vascular tissue now fifth one is the vascular system in young steam i'm telling you in case of young steam of achiranthus that vascular bundles are conjoined collateral open and indulged conjoined means both the xylem and Phloem are present in the same vascular bundle. Collateral means the xylem is present towards the center and phloem is present towards the periphery. Open means it consists of cambium and indarch means the protoxylem is towards the center and metaxylem is towards the periphery. But old stems show secondary growth as well. In the old stem, the vascular system consists of primary phloem, secondary phloem, cambium. As cambium has come here, it must have the secondary growth. Secondary xylem, conjunctive tissue included 
phloem and primary xylem as well. You can see clearly in the figure that the primary phloem is crossed and obliterated. Primary xylem is present near the pith and in the conjunctive tissue are present groups of included phloem or interxylary phloem. Now finally the last one is the pith which is well developed and parenchymatous, thin and transparent. Now the topic is anamolos behavior structure of Achyranthus. It has two medullary bundles. You can see in the figure that it has two medullary bundles which are present in the pith facing their xylem towards the towards each other. They are conjoined collateral open and indus type of uh, vascular bundle. Phloem of secondary bundles appears in the form of patches. This phloem is included phloem. This phloem is called included phloem. So in this way, I hope you have known a little bit about the transverse section of Achyranthus stem belonging to Amaranthaceae family. So if you found my video useful a little bit for you, then do subscribe, like and comment my video. And if you have any problem relating to any topic then you can ask me I will try to help you out thank you